Hello, my name is Lauren and I'm a Clinical Application Specialist at the Audis Group. I'm going to talk to you today about the VG70s. So the VG70s are critical care mechanical ventilators that can be used in an ICU or transport setting. They're manufactured by AirMed and they are both CE and FDA approved. These devices were brought in by the Department of Health to prepare the UK for the COVID-19 crisis. They've been independently tested by the Medical Devices Testing and Evaluation Centre who agree they are suitable for the UK market. They trigger well, the modes work as expected and they ventilate stiff lungs effectively. The device runs easily off a four bar oxygen wall outlet, a built-in air compressor, low noise turbine, so you do not need an external air compressor. The VG70s have a run of 30,000 hours. They have built-in leakage compensation at 60 litres a minute and tube and compliance compensation. The VG70s have both invasive and non-invasive modes. This makes weaning a patient very easy as the device can switch between both and it will also automatically work out the rapid shallow breathing index and the work of breathing. Before using, there are some points to keep in mind. The minimum patient weight is three kilograms. The ventilator is not intended to be a comprehensive monitoring device and does not activate alarms for all types of dangerous conditions for patients on life support equipment. For example, there is no CO2 monitoring with the device, although this is an optional upgrade. Adding attachments or other components and sub-assemblies to the ventilator breathing system can change the pressure gradient across the ventilator breathing system and that such changes to the ventilation can affect the ventilator performance. The expiratory nodule here is heated, so you use caution to avoid burning yourself when touching and removing. Do not place containers of liquid, such as the humidifier, water traps or water reservoirs on top or above the ventilator. Liquids getting into the ventilator can cause the equipment to malfunction and risk patient injury. The breathing circuit must not be connected whenever you turn on or turn off the device. Measurements can be affected by mobile and radio frequency communications. Please leave such equipment a minimum of 30 centimetres away from the VG70. The VG70 is not suitable for use in the presence of flammable anaesthetic mixture with air, oxygen or nitrous oxide. During operation, please do not block the speaker holes on the side, the exhaust port, the air inlet at the back or the cooling fan. Do not use the ventilator in an MRI environment. It's also not suitable to use in a hyperbaric chamber. The battery should be removed if you're planning on storing the device for more than six months. The operating environment is between five and 40 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 95% humidity. If the device is stored outside of this, please allow 24 hours for it to reacclimatize to the correct operating environment. Use of a filter in the expiratory system or the expiratory side will increase the resistance of the patient's circuit. If using the VG70 in a non-invasive ventilation mode, the exhaled volume of the patient can differ from the measured exhaled volume due to leaks around the mask. Users don't need to pay attention if you see data lost 3008. This is, will come up in the information log, but it has no impact on the machine performance. Okay, we're now ready to go through the device parts and get you to grips with using your device. 